So I was looking for a good spot to film an intro to this video and I was like, this looks like a pretty good spot even though it's super dark. And it kind of got me thinking, when did the low light on these cameras become so good? Because I remember like 10 years ago, there were so many different things I wanted to film at night or whatever. And it was just like, well, we can't, it's too dark. It's gonna look terrible. And the only way to film anything at that point was to turn on night vision mode and everything looked like a SEAL Team 6 mission and everything looked super green and crazy. But now with this camera setup, even if it's dark, I'm like, eh, this this will work. Let's, let's just film here. But it really got me wondering how far can I push the low light on this camera and can I get it to the point where it can see better than me in the dark so I was like okay let me find one of the fastest lenses I could put on this camera something with a big old aperture lets in tons of light so theoretically it should be excellent in low light and I found the Canon 50 millimeter 1.0 I saw the price tag and I was like so now I have the 50 millimeter 1.2. It's also worth noting that this is the Canon EOS R, which is one of my favorite cameras, but it's not some outrageously expensive, custom made in Egypt type of camera. For example, if a soccer mom went over to Best Buy and was like, I want a nice camera. And the salesman was like, well, how rich are you? And she's like, She'll probably come back with this kind of camera. So here's our camera setup. It's the 50 millimeter 1.2. I actually got it used on Craigslist, saved a couple hundred bucks. We're gonna take this out, meet up with Maddie, and wait for the sun to go down. So sit back and enjoy some F1.2 footage. Silence! <laughs> well, we're broken into Armando's lair <laughs> to do some torture stuff. Non-sexual though, just just non-sexual stuff. I'm gonna take off your tape, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna try to do it faster. But oh, my it's... lips. <laughs> How long did you say this was gonna take? <laughs> I feel like this is just a con job where you're just gonna steal all my camera gear and you're gonna run away. Yes. <laughs> so it basically takes about 10 minutes for your cones to adapt and then about 30 minutes total for your rods, rods. I think there's rods in your eyes. I have no idea how this eyeball science works. Now, if you're an optometrist, leave a comment down below and let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us how inaccurate we are. It's been a few minutes and my eyes are already adapting a lot. When I first shut off these lights, like I couldn't see anything. I was stumbling around, but now I can actually kind of see a little bit. So my eyes are already adapting, but here's the issue. For me to operate this camera, I have to look at an LCD and that's light entering my eyes. So it ruins my night adapted vision. Even this candle is ruining my night adapted vision. So he's got blindfolds on. We're gonna give him a full 30 minutes to get his super night vision eyes ready. And we're gonna see if the camera can still see better than our eyes. I'm going to blow out this candle real quick. Oh crap. Oh man, it is, it is dark. Just to give you guys an idea of how dark it is right now, this is my phone. This is my phone screen. It looks like he has decent lighting on him. <laughs> it's interesting because through this camera, I'm seeing a whole lot more than I am with my actual eyes still. This footage looks terrible on the camera, but still, see how it says Canon right here on this handle, right in the center? I can't read that with my eyes. If there's one other camera that's better in low light, it's the A7 III, which Armando happens to have. What kind of lens is this? I don't forgot the name, but it's basically a vintage lens that goes down to 0.95 aperture. This is like one of the best low light lenses you can get. Yeah. The only camera that would be better and it would just decimate everything is that Canon camera that's like $20,000. Like it literally can see in the dark. So there are definitely cameras that can see way better in the dark than we can, but we're talking about cameras that they would sell on Best Buy or Amazon. <laughs> None of these cameras that we're using right now is like exclusive. Right. Anyways, it's been about 33 minutes. He hasn't seen any light. So I'm gonna write down a little note here. This guy's writing like a whole paragraph. Whoa, this lens is interesting. It's like, Vignetti. All right, so I'm gonna blow this up. Whoa, that's crazy. You can see With it? With this lens, I can still read it. Really? It's really grainy on the camera and it's definitely like very close to not being able to read it, but 
We can see it. Armando, why don't you take off your blindfold? Okay, here it goes, three minutes later. I can make certain words, hold on. I see Armando right here, right? Does it say Armando at the very end, or no? Yeah, that's crazy. This camera is literally able to I see can't. more than you. Even after you've been blindfolded for 30 minutes. Dude, I can't, I can't read it. I think it's safe to say the camera can see better than the human <laughs> yeah. eye at this point. I'm gonna give you a little bit of light. Oh, thanks. Potato Jet is the best channel on YouTube, right? Way better than our mom. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm gonna turn on just like of a light from my phone now. Oh God, that hurts, dude. I can't even, you messed my vision. <laughs> See, that really hurt my eyes, dude. Did it really? Yeah, dude, when you hit that light. Just look through this camera real quick. Holy crap. Uh, I mean, that's definitely better than what we can see with our eyes, right? Yeah, dude, like, that, like, that looks like there's light, like the lights are on. That is nuts. You can see the tree details, dude. I'm seeing you way better than I'm seeing you in person. Oh, of course. And that's awesome because if you can see it with your eyes, you can record it which is insane to me. Right now, I don't think my eyes are night adapted. So to me, seeing this tripod in this shot, I could see the tripod that's closer to me, but then that tripod kind of further back, I can't see that with my eyes. You could take this to the Arizona desert and film like these little small critters that only come at night, like pitch black, that normally, even 10 years ago, probably wasn't as possible, or at least accessible to the general market. I think that is amazing. If there's a big moon out, you'll be able to see. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. With my eyes, I can't really see the details on your face. It looks kind of like around there. Like I could barely see you, and I definitely can't see details on your face. This is how it actually looks to my eyes. This is just crazy. <laughs> that was pretty impressive, right? Anyways, uh, now we are filming on the GoPro Hero 7. Can you see me at all? Can you see anything? The GoPro Hero 7 is an awesome camera, but does not have the most fantastic low light ever. So luckily, I still have my EOS R here. But look at this difference though. I'm in a really, really dark spot, but I mean, come on, on the GoPro, you can't really see anything at all. And on the EOS R, I'm not even maxed out on my ISO. So so we're good. But anyways, we're still a few minutes away from being able to stretch this video out past that 10 minute mark. So I wanna tell you guys about Skillshare who's sponsoring this episode. My goal is to do a giveaway on every single sponsored video. I don't wanna promise that because I don't wanna like promise something and regret it later, but Skillshare pays me money to tell you guys about Skillshare and I'm really good at spending money that I just earned. So I just bought 10 of these lenses and I'm giving them out to you guys. This is a 50 millimeter 1.8. Now right now I'm shooting on a 50 millimeter 1.2. I wish I could buy 10 of these 1.2 lenses, but then I would be so broke. But this is f1.8, so it is pretty decent for low light. The downside is that it is an EF lens, so you have to have either a Canon EF lens or an adapter to an EF lens. But these are probably one of the most common types of lenses around. So even if you're shooting on like an A7, if you have an adapter for an EF or whatever, then you can enter. You have to live in the continental United States. I think that's what it's called. Contiguous? It's not continuous? It's contiguous. Condig contiguous? contiguous? Yeah. That's a word? I thought yeah. it was continuous. Like it's the stuff you can learn on Skillshare. <laughs> I've been lied to my whole life. I always thought it was continuous 48 states. He won like the geography B, right? Great. Fifth grade geography B, he won that. Basically America, but not Alaska and Hawaii. Sorry, you guys are uninvited to this lens party. I need you guys to do me a favor. Don't enter if you already have a solid 50 millimeter prime or you don't have a camera that fits this. I'm really trying to just get this lens out to people that really want it and can use it. This will be awesome for you. I've made a couple videos on this in the past and I really dig this lens for its price. 10 of you guys gonna win this. Skillshare is a online learning community. It's like a lot of super cool lessons if you want to go on there and learn anything. For example, video has always been complicated to do low light, which is why this is so amazing that we could film video in low light, but low light photography or long exposure has been around for a very long time and there's classes all about that. You just leave a camera on a tripod and then just open up that shutter for a couple seconds, maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and it gives that camera a whole bunch of time to just absorb all this light so you can actually get a super low light shot even when it's like pitch dark with like no grain. While you have the shutter open, you could take out a light and just 
just like wave it around and you could do some light painting and all this cool stuff. There's so many things you can learn on Skillshare. I feel so stupid like trying to like draw a bunch of stuff in the air but it comes out looking cool in the photo, so it's worth it. If you sign up for a premium account, you literally get access to unlimited courses and unlimited knowledge. There's a link in my description, so the first 500 people to click it and sign up gets a free trial for two months. What? You can learn so much stuff in two months. I love that. And after that, an annual plan is less than 10 bucks a month, which is pretty cheap compared to like college and stuff, so good value. And we're back at my apartment and we don't have any of the lights on. We don't even need lights anymore since these cameras are so good in low light. All I need is my laptop here. I'm gonna turn up the brightness on my screen and look at that. Whoa, that's bright. Actually, monitors can be like a full RGB light in a sense. Like I got Photoshop open here and I can just take that paint bucket, paint something yellow. Whoa, look at this color light. How about a blue light? Let's try that out, boom. Whoa, this is actually pretty cool. Who needs lights now when you have computer monitors? I just have a Photoshop file open and I'm just using the paint bucket to change the color of the screen. Mm, a little bit too yellow. Anyways, thanks Matty Hapoyo for showing me around Toronto and keep an eye on his channel for a couple videos that we shot together. And also thanks Armando for letting me blindfold you for 30 minutes. It's a lot of trust, man. It's just too bright. Do I need to lower the brightness a little bit? There we go, how about that? Armando and I made a video on his channel by how to set up a cinema camera, kind of building out a camera and just kind of explaining what each piece does. All right, so how about now we read some comments. My last video is sliders versus gimbals. Hop comment, Steve says, you can eat a slider, you can't eat a gimbal. It actually took me a lot longer than it should have for me to get the joke. <laughs> I was like, well, you can't eat a slider. That would hurt your mouth. I don't want to say this, but M&Ms are way better than Kit Kats. You are incorrect. Is he wearing boxers? Notice it at 1.30. <laughs> Chocolate from here. sucks, sucks, sucks. <laughs> no, I never put on pants. I'm not putting on pants unless I have to, okay? I, you think I'm wearing pants right now? What? It's just awkward when I'm filming and the UPS guy comes and knocks out the door. And I'm like, oh crap, uh, I gotta put on pants. Chris Rollins says, when will my Texas Miro make it in a video? There it is in all its glory. Whenever people come over and visit, I give them a roll of tape and I ask them to just make a little bit of tape art as a signature to my room. This one's from Christina. This is not a true statement, by the way, 